All right. Uh, well, I, I tried to get this thing cleared as much as I could, and it just wasn't having it. Um, it seemed the more I tried, the more stuck it got, and the more inhibited it, 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 it got it. So, uh, I trashed it. Here is the spider coil, voice coil, configuration right there. Uh, when we pulled it out, this thing here was cockeyed in there. I don't know how it got that way. Um, but anyway, I took implements of destruction to it and hit it a couple of times and it was moving. So I doinked it until I, it looked like it does. So, and I tried to, I tried to voice coil in it. And it goes in there all right. So now I, I gotta, I gotta get this thing uh, situated where the thing it is. Here is the old uh, cone that came out of it. Uh, we'll toss that over. Yeah, my bug juice. Uh, Skeeters are a little wicked around here these days, and there's many of them. Uh, th this crap here, though, I think I think they like it because I see them bathing in it from time to time. I spray it, and they just kind of flutter around in the air. It looks like they're taking a shower. Uh, so I don't know uh, if you got to buy the stuff that w kills you quicker than it kills the bugs. Uh, in order to hopefully kill the bugs <laughs> and hopefully they die before you do so anyway back to the speaker we've got this here that we're going to go in this here is for a a six inch this is a six and a half inch basket uh, but there's enough around the edges there uh, that it will be more than enough to get it accomplished so we're going to take and rebuild it uh here's all the crap that the thing is you can see how dirty it was in there i mean it was crappy and the more crap that i pulled out the more crap it seemed to get so crap so we're going to do we're going to do the typical recon and do it good that uh, uh, lacquer thinner works really good. You put it on a little cotton swab and swab it or soak the swab and swab it around the basket here. And um, after, uh, after about five minutes or so, uh, she loosens up. The glue on it loosens up pretty good to where you can start peeling it up real carefully, incrementally, all the way around the thing. And it will get super tacky so I mean you got to keep up with it and and uh, and it comes right loose um, so uh, yeah whatever so uh, get that back over there now um, let me touch base with you on one thing that I was contemplating I can't imagine why this thing here has got one missing uh, boogie board on it and a set of contacts missing because if you see down through there let me get my stick bigger let me zoom in a little bit so we can get a clear shot Let's take this one, this one here, for instance. I think I can see both sides of this. This, um, yeah, she, the end of this coil is tied to the first, oops, sorry, <laughs> God, 
There are some Buddha semen over here. This coil at the end, at this end of the coil, is tied to. I did it again. You dumb, stupid turkey. It's tied down here because because I'm looking at this and not looking at my phone is the reason why the thing is high for super -dabity. so anyway uh, this one here has got one contact this one here on this side this one is attached to here so I'm thinking this second one here Okay, let's let's go this way. Let me see if I can keep my fingers out of the way. The lower side of these, uh, the the lower side of these uh, trimmers are all bonded together. They're all tied together on a common bus, like typical trimmers are. And then the opposite side is tied into the switching network. This one here. Y'all got it? You stupid, dumb bunny. <laughs> Look at that. Hang on a minute. Let me get this thing in a stirrup. Okay, on to the push button assembly here. Um, I'm thinking that somebody had, in the past, had taken this apart because it was probably broken. This one here was missing. I had to make one for that, or else this thing here got whoppy jawed in there. And um, and then uh, when I w was going to fix this here, I noticed, hey, wait a minute, there's something odd about this picture. I've got a uh, a divider here, or a sleeve, or a barrier for each of these rods, push push button rods. But nothing for this one so somebody's been in here and messed with it so I got to looking at this thing a little closer and I know I was gonna I was gonna take and throw this back in and then I thought I got to thinking um, this one here is not gonna work and if you remember in my intro uh, lead-in I show a picture of the L740 uh, a still picture of it and this this second from the left it didn't have a, a button on it all the rest had their buttons on it and I was thinking well that one's gone history I can go ahead and try to attempt making one and if I can make one I can make a whole set as long as I can get them all looking the same and uh, and then take the four off and put the five new ones on so that way, at least they would all match, if I couldn't ex make an exact match. Well, <coughs> later I found the button underneath the chassis when I pulled the chassis out. And um, it couldn't have got underneath that chassis on its own. So somebody had tossed it in there, I think, for a future user or a future repairer or restorer, i.e. me. <laughs> So they defined it, and at least they'd have all five buttons. I'm thinking that because when I saw it on eBay, I thought, "Oh shit, there's a button missing on the dang thing." Now I'm going to have to take and wind up having to look for a button or or make an attempt at making one. Well, long story short, uh, that's history. So um, I knew this one here was not going to function. Uh, now what I noticing what I was noticing was this coil has got an end on this one and this one one at the top end there I go again off screen this far end out here ties to these lugs that one there this one here ties to that one, and that one there ties to this one. This one here would have tied to this one here if it was there, but somebody had taken and put it to here. Now, a little bit more about that. 
This end of the coils are all tied to the main bus down this side and that main bus is grounded right here. It comes up and all of the lower sides of these trimmers are tied together on that bus. Likewise, all the lead, the start of these coils are tied to that same bus. So, the top sides of all these trimmers are tied to number two lug. This being this being one, that being two, three, four. So this one here ties to lug two. This one here ties to lug two. This one here ties to lug two. This one here, well, there's nothing, there's nothing there to tie to. So it's tied over to this one. Now, number three ties together with number three of the second one. Down underneath here, you'll see those, those little contacts right under there. Well, there's one on this end and there's one back there on that end. You might be able to see it a little bit over here. So there's two contacts on this side. They come up and they tie to the first side. Same way with this one. So the contacts for the second one on, th on this side are tied with the contacts of this one on this side. So once you activate the button, these are broke from those. <laughs> this one here is tied together, that one there is tied together, that one there is set. the third one up here is tied, the, the first one up there is tied. The third one up here is tied and the first one up there is tied. No matter what you do, this one here is not going to. This one here is not going to function because there's there's no guts. So uh, what I'm going to do is, I've already ordered some phenolic board that I can use, so I can fashion something for this second thing. I've got some shim stock over there. It's a little springy. It's brass, but it will work. Um, so I don't have to order out any copper shim. So I can make the contacts for both sides of that little barrier strip. So I'm going to make something for this. Attempt to make something for that, I should say. Um, that's the only thing I can figure because this second one here from the left is not going to function period I don't give a crap <laughs> what it's tied to here it's not going to operate like it like it should so somebody's dibbled with it Either this thing here was wonkified and broken. So I think that's the reason why this one here was missing is because they took it apart to take the guts out of it because something was messed up with it. We'll see. Sorry I gabbed your ears off. I just don't know what the heck else uh, it could be with this thing and I know it's not going to function that I know that one there is not going to function unless it is set up like these <coughs> so we'll see thanks for watching